cholesterol is largely an artifact of an animal food-centered diet. And what I would encourage them to do is to do a trial. Eight weeks of an entirely plant-based diet, recheck the cholesterol, and they'll see that it is plummeted. I mean, that's the, that's the best way to show them that by going plant-based, their cholesterol will come down markedly. Food switches on and off our genes. So even if they're focusing on the gene component, tell them that what we put in our mouth is information for our genes. So our genes are always looking for information from our environment as to how to act. So if you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, it's going to tell our genes, hey, let's ramp down the cholesterol production. Our genes make us susceptible to drowning, but only if we get in the water over our heads. I think that many studies that show that dairy estrogen is much higher yes. than, and also don't forget the, the estrogen that's in soy is in com completely different form to the estrogen in dairy. Dairy estrogen is very similar to human estrogen. And so it will go straight to the estrogen receptors and acti activate that. So that would then lead to things like breast cancer and then you know, um, and other you know, diabetes and things like that. But the phytoestrogen actually will stimulate. We have two, two types of estrogen receptors, alpha and beta. So the beta one is actually anti-tumor. So, and the, the, uh, the phytoestrogen in soy actually binds preferentially to beta in breast tissue um, and prostate. And so that actually lowers your chance of tumors. Um, and actually, the alpha is in the bone. So it's very beneficial for, for bone health. So, that's what, so phytoestrogen acts on different types of estrogen receptors in our body, and it's actually beneficial overall. Right, it, thank you, a, a, absolutely. And there are a number of meta-analyses that show over, 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 over again that the phytoestrogens are protective, they uh, reduce risk for breast and prostate cancer in a dose-dependent fashion, meaning the more you eat, the lower your risk, um, and the bottom line is you look at the countries that eat the most soy products, they have the lowest risk of breast and prostate cancer. I, I was telling people at the um, Vegan Soul Fest uh, yesterday, China eats a lot of uh, soy products, the men aren't wearing bras, and it's the most populous nation on earth. <laughs>